Hi guys, it's Gordon at Kaizen Active and I just wanted to kind of finish off with just a quick kind of roundup of what we learned over the course of the week. Um, so I'm just going to go back and talk about the kind of main points. So first main point, no added sugar juice, still has got sugar in it, you've got to strip that out. That's really, really, really going to get in the way of weight loss. It hasn't really got a place going forward for kind of a health and well-being. Um, or because it's going to kind of interfere with just maintaining a nice stable body weight. There's nothing really good in it. It's just sugar. It, it goes out and we swap it with one of our other options that are in the kind of Kaizen 360 packs. Um, the Zero tablets that we've kind of, the hydration tablets are on the Facebook page and kind of on our own pages. So um, if you need any more information on them, just ask equally so water, flavor it with lemon or lime. Um, you can have flavored teas. Um, there's a, there are kind of a variety of options, but no added sugar juice is not a good one. So that would be the first lesson to learn here. Get rid of no added sugar juices. If it's not on the plan, you shouldn't be eating it or at least flag it up really early and ask. Um, next thing to kind of bring up or kind of talk about, let me just go back to Monday. Breakfast, you want to get it in as early as you possibly can. Um, nine o'clock's a bit late for breakfast. You're missing two hours out of 24 where you could be in, where you could be burning body fat. So eat earlier. That would be kind of a, a kind of another kind of comment for improvement. Something that this person does really well. Green tea with lemon. It's awesome from a fat burning perspective. So there's a positive there. Next, snacks. You have a snack in between meals, but you want your everything spaced by kind of three hours. So it would be seven o'clock. 10 o'clock and 1 o'clock. If you've only got four hours between breakfast and lunch, no snacks. Next, afternoon snacks. In the region, females 100 calories, males 150 calories. They're just to keep things going. And in this example, before exercise, it wants to be carbs. So have a piece of fruit before Kaizen 360. Um, and then lastly, after Kaizen 360, probably another piece of fruit um, or a protein shake with a little bit of milk and then a really light dinner would be the way to go on a, on an exercise day. I'll just kind of sum up a non-exercise day. What would be different? So non-exercise day should be similar to exercise days in that we can still have carbs in the morning um, and carbs at lunchtime, that's all absolutely fine. Even carbs in the afternoon, but kind of what do we want? But we definitely need an evening meal. An evening meal should be packed full of vegetables. Um, on non-exercise days, we're looking for loads of vegetables um, and we definitely want to kind of stop eating. Um, want to eat within a 12-hour window, so maybe from 7 till 7, and then you stop. If you go kind of longer, then it's basically just saying to the body, right, there's some energy coming in, you don't need to burn body fat. So try and eat as soon as you get up in the morning and try and stop somewhere in the region of 12 hours after that. Um, I'm just looking to see if there's anything else different that I would add. I think that's all actually. That should kind of be reasonably useful. Any questions, any comments, just ask. Speak to you soon. Bye-bye.